a lot of smash up cars. I seen two, you know, two, two bodies. Lots of lights, lots of animal parts. And that's all I seen was, you know, well, they're going this way over the top. Elk all over the place. The tow truck driver doesn't know how the guy driving this pickup escaped injury. This guy's very lucky. Uh, I seen, oh, uh, this is last year, a guy hit a deer, went through his windshield, killed him dead in the doorknob. Either does the guy driving it. I don't remember. I don't know if I put my head down and I closed my eyes because, I mean, the, the glass just blew all in. He found out today he was one of three drivers involved in the accident and that they all survived. Seven Elk did not. Everyone out here knows about the elk herd in this area. A landowner snapped this photo of them just over the last weekend. But they say only recently have they seen them get near the highway. Wildlife managers say the elk have developed a very bad habit. They're starting to want to go across this road. They've done it a couple of times in the past week. It's a habit nobody can afford to have out here. Whether it's hazing um, or uh, working with um, landowners to, to shortstop the animals somehow, um, even up to, to and including some herd reduction. The locals say the state better decide soon what it wants to do. The elk have been edging their way closer and closer to town. Well, I say it's getting to be a problem. They're coming down, staying in the lowlands where, where the population of people are. They got lucky this time, but one look at the damage says it all. The elk are getting way too close for comfort.